time for English on the go, which means you're going to take a look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker who could be anywhere in the world. And today, we have my good friend Richard, who's from the USA. He's my good friend. He's my friend. <laughs> He's our friend. Anyway, he lives in New York, yes. in the US. New York is where I live in Richard C. Yeah, Richard C. Now, just say I like to ride my bike between 30 and 40 kilometers a day, about four to five times a week, or as often as I can, mainly for physical fitness, but also because I love getting into the flow state. In fact, it feels like I'm riding on autopilot as I'm cruising on my bike, because I've been doing it ever since I was a young boy, and it's just second nature to me at this point. It's very natural to just get on my bike and ride and ride and ride, and sort of not think about it. I just do it naturally. It is like being on autopilot, and I just enjoy it so much that it doesn't seem like that much work, even though I'm riding long distances. That okay. is a great example. Yeah. I can definitely relate to riding bikes regularly and being on autopilot. That's awesome. Yeah. 사실 자전거 자전거 굉장히 좋은 예인데요. 자전거를 처음 타보는 사람 아니면 어제 배워서 이제 두 번째로 타보는 mm -hmm. 사람은 어로파일럿으로 갈 수는 없을 거예요. Right. 근데 워낙 뭐 100번 이상 타본 사람들은 자전거 지금 페달이 어떻게 돌아가는지 신경 안 쓰잖아요. Right. 네. Especially if you take the same course, yes. maybe around a lake mm -hmm. and there aren't any cars or many yeah. obstacles to avoid, mm. you can just ride and think about something else, 그렇죠. right? Think about something else entirely. 완전 yeah. 다른 생각에 잠겨서 자전거를 탈 수도 있고. Right. You can see the you, you can actually learn the traffic light patterns. Yeah. 신호가 어디에서 어떻게 들어오는지 다 기억을 하고 있으니까 mm -hmm. 생각 없이 이 자전거는 탈수 있겠죠? That's right. Okay, so that was an interesting story and we're going to break it down line by line. That's right. Let's start with the first line. I like to ride my bike between 30 and 40 kilometers a day, about 4 to 5 times a week or as often as I can. I like to ride my bike between 30 and 40 kilometers a day, about 4 to 5 or about four to five times a week, or as often as I can. 먼저, Richard 씨는 사실 개인적으로는 킬로미터보다는 miles가 더 익숙할 거예요. Yeah. 근데 이제 킬로미터로 아마 우리를 위해서 이렇게 바꿔준 거 아닌가 싶어요. Right, probably for us, he changed it to kilometers, yes. which is okay. Because in the US, if you talk about kilometers, a lot of people don't know what that is. Nope. Or they know what that is, but they don't know how many kilometers is how many miles. Right, we wouldn't be able to calculate it. So if you're in America, try and calculate everything into miles. 네, 그렇죠. And 네. Fahrenheit. <웃음> 아, 맞아요. 그 킬로미터 대신에 마일을 쓰고, mm -hmm. 미터 대신에 보통 또 야드도 많이 쓰고. Oh yeah, we use yards, 네. and then we use inches, inches. feet in inches. 맞아요. Yeah. 그리고 또 화씨 온도를 쓰니까 좀 헷갈릴 수 있는데, 여기서는 다행히 킬로미터 나왔습니다. That's right. I like to ride my bike. 여기부터 보면요. 저는 자전거를 타는 걸 좋아합니다라고 해석을 해야 되는지 I usually ride my bike. I tend to ride my bike. 이렇게 해석해야 되는지는 여러분에게 맡길게요. 둘다 되거든요. Yeah, so in this case it could be I like to, like I really like riding my bike or I usually ride my bike at this day and time. 네, 그래서 저는 여기서는 두 번째로 I yeah. usually, I tend to, 이걸로 번역했어요. Yeah, in this case, he's definitely talking about I usually or I tend to ride my bike. 네, I enjoy 느낌이 아니에요. Right. 그래서 I like to ride my bike uh, between 30 and 40 kilometers a day. 굉장히 오랫동안 타시네요. 하루에 30km에서 40km씩 자전거를 타는 편인데 about 4 to 5 times a week, 일주일에 네 번에서 다섯 번, mm -hmm. or as often as I can. Mm -hmm. 그 이상 넘어가서도 아무튼 최대한 자주 타는 편이래요. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was the first sentence. Let's move on to the second sentence then. Mainly for physical fitness, but also because I love getting into the flow state. Mainly for physical fitness, but also because I love getting into the flow state. <웃음> 아주 좋은 표현들이 나오고 있죠. Mm -hmm. 첫 번째로 나오는 것이 Physical fitness. Yes. Physical fitness. 그냥 fitness라고 해도 돼요. Oh yeah, you don't need to say physical. It's just I ride my bike mainly for fitness. 네, 건강이란 뜻인데요. Physical fitness 말고도 이제 mental fitness, mental oh, yeah. health도 요즘에 더 많이 쓰이다 보니까 oh, yeah. 
이제 피지컬 피트니스라고 조금 더 명확하게 해주고 싶었던 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 네. For sure, you can definitely talk about mental fitness as well. So I think he just wanted to let us know physical fitness, not mental, right? Yeah. 그래서 mainly 주로 왜 이렇게 자전거를 오래 타느냐 어디 가려고 그러는 건 아니고 mm-hmm. <웃음> 주로 건강을 위해서 운동을 위해서 하는 거고요. Mm-hmm. But also 또한 because I love getting into the flow state. 네. Flow. Flow라는 거는 원래는 흐름이죠. 흐름, 흘러간다. The water is flowing from here to there. Flow, time flows, 시간이 흐른다. 또는 money flows, 돈이 흘러간다. 자금이 흐름이 이렇다라고 할 때도 flow로 쓰는데 명사로 쓰고 the flow state 이렇게 아니면 in a flow state 이런 형태로 쓰게 되면요. 몰입한 상태를 말합니다. 지금 딱 눈앞에 있는 어떤 행동에 집중한 나머지 내가 누군지, 나는 지금 어떤 옷을 입고 있는지, 오늘이 무슨 요일인지 다 잊어버리고 지금 딱 거기에 빠져 있는 상태를, 몰입 상태를 flow라고 한다고 해요. Mm-hmm. Have you used the word flow recently? Yes, I have, but I use it a little bit differently. I was telling someone to go with the flow. Uh-huh. So don't try and change the plans, just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Think of a river. There's already a river there. Don't try and make another path. Just jump into the river and go the same direction, right? 아하, 그럴 때도 쓸 수가 있죠. 그래서 yeah. 상황에 맞춰서 한번 대처해 봐라라고 mm-hmm. 할 때도 go mm-hmm. with the flow로 쓰는데요. Mm-hmm. 이게 이제 흐름 쪽인지 그건 이제 흐름 쪽이고 right. 아니면 지금 완전히 푹 빠져서 다른 상황을 잊어버리는 상태인지는 right. 여러분이 문맥을 살펴주시고 mm-hmm. 한번 상상해 보시면 느낌이 와요. 자전거를 타고 있는데 yeah. 지금 자전거 빠르게 움직이고 있고 원래 알던 길이고 하다 보면 yeah. 날씨 살짝 감상하면서 다른 생각에 빠지다 보니까. 집중력이 오히려 향상되는 느낌? Mm. Yeah, so you're not focused on riding the bike. You're not like, I need to turn left, I need to turn right, slow down, speed up. You can think about other things. Your yes. brain just kind of flows. Yeah, and suddenly you have a lot of great ideas. Yeah. You're in the flow state. That's true. You can think of a lot of great ideas or even just have fun, imaginative stories in your head. Daydream. <웃음> 아, 맞아요. 몽상을 할 수도 있고, yeah. 머릿속에 아이디어가 아무튼 떠오르는 상태가 바로 Flow state. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to the next one. In fact, it feels like I'm riding on autopilot as I'm cruising on my bike. In fact, it feels like I'm riding on autopilot as I'm cruising on my bike. 사실 어떻게 느껴지냐면 it feels like I'm riding on autopilot. Mm-hmm. 열심히 여기로 가야 되나 저기로 가야 되나 하는 게 아니고 mm-hmm. 의식하지 않고 자동으로 타게 되는 것 같은 기분이에요. Mm-hmm. As I am cruising on my bike. Cruising. 네. 자, 자전거를 탄다고 할때 물론 I ride my bike 또는 mm-hmm. I go there on my bike. Mm-hmm. 여러 가지 뜻이 표현들이 가능한데 cruise는 뭐예요? Cruise. So when you cruise, it just means you're going at a steady pace. Right? You're not speeding up, slowing down. It's just a constant steady Pace. 그렇죠. 꾸준한 속도로 나아가는 거, 천천히 가는 거, 굉장히 빨리 가진 않아요. Right. So it's not 네. that fast. But in some cases, like for an airplane, 아, 그렇죠. so 아. the pilot might say, we're going to be cruising at a speed of 400 miles per hour. 그렇네요. It's 네. fast, but it's not changing. It's constant. So it can be 네. slow or it can be a constant fast speed as well. 네. 실제 그 절대 속도가 느린 건 아닌데, right. 가속은 없어요. There's yeah. no acceleration. Right. 가속은 없고 꾸준한 속도로 가는 건데요. 자전거 같은 경우에는 그래도 막 정말로 빨리 달리는 느낌보다는 천천히 no. 달리는 느낌이 있고 비행기는 right. 원래 기본적으로 빠르니까 right. 어쩔 수 없이 빠른 거고요. Right. 그 so, cruise ship 생각해 보시면요. Mm-hmm. 그 굉장히 빠른 제트 스키나 제트 보트처럼 확확 right. 가는 게 아니고 mm-hmm. 천천히 쭉 가잖아요. Right. I think it's relative to the thing. Yeah. Right. So boats can be Kind of fast, but it goes at a speed that's comfortable for it. 네. Right? 운전할 때도 쓸수 있고요. Yeah. You're cruising in your car. Right. 그냥 동네를 한 바퀴 드라이브 하는 것도 right. cruise라고 쓸수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 꼭 알아두셨다가 다음에 응용해 보시고요. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장 볼까요? Because I've been doing it ever since I was a young boy, and it's just second nature to me at this point. Second nature. Do you remember that word? Why don't we see what he said? Because I've been doing it ever since I was a young boy, it's just second nature to me at this point. 네, 왜 autopilot으로 할수 있냐면 의식하지 않고 할수 있는 이유는 because I've been doing it 해왔기 때문이죠. Mm-hmm. Ever since라는 거는 그때부터 쭉이라는 말이에요. Yeah, so from then until now, he's mm. still doing it. 네, 
에버를 빼고도 사실 그때부터 해왔다라는 의미가 있는데 <웃음> 에버가 들어감으로써 에버가 이제 향상성을 가리켜요. <웃음> 항상 사시사철 푸른 나무 이런 것도 상록수 이런 것도 evergreen <웃음> trees. Oh, evergreen, oh yeah, right? Evergreens, 항상 right? 항상 green 하니까. Yeah, because they're always green. They never change their leaf colors in the fall. 음, yeah. 그래서 ever since니까 그때부터 해왔는데 계속 해오는 거를 right. 말합니다. 중간에 상태가 바뀐 적이 없어요. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing it ever since I was a young boy. Mm-hmm. 어, 어렸을 때부터 해온 거라서 mm-hmm. 어렵지 않게 어로파일럿으로 자전거를 탈 수가 있고요. Mm-hmm. 어, 그래서 flow state도 경험을 하고 몰입도 mm-hmm. 하고. It's just second nature. Yeah. Second nature. 네. He just does it without thinking. It's 그렇죠. a part of him. <웃음> 네. 이미 우리 공부했습니다. Second yeah. nature. Mm-hmm. 몸에 뵌 자연스러운 행동인데요. Mm-hmm. To me, at this point. Mm-hmm. 이것도 좋은 표현이죠. Yeah, at this point. It means now. Yeah. At this time in my life. Right? 그래서 포인트는 여러 가지 뜻이 있어서 요점. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make my point. Yes. 제가 어떤 요점을 강조하고 싶습니다. Mm-hmm. 주장하고 싶습니다. 라고 할 때도 point. 그런데 여기서 말하는 것은 at this point in Time. time. 시간에 있어서의 이 지점이니까 yes. um, at the moment. Yeah, at 지금, the moment. 네, 이쯤 되니까 몸에 밴 second nature가 되었어요. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right, let's see what he says next. It's very natural to just get on my bike and ride and ride and ride and sort of not think about it. I just do it naturally. It's very natural to just get on my bike and ride and ride and ride and sort of not think about it. I just do it naturally. 이제 앞에 나왔던 그 second nature의 사실은 정이라고 볼 수도 있을 것 같아요. Yeah, it seems like he's just describing the word second nature. Yeah, and autopilot. Mm-hmm. 두 가지 동시에 지금 mm-hmm. 설명하고 있는 좋은 문장인데요. Mm-hmm. It's very natural, 아주 자연스럽습니다. To just get on my bike, mm-hmm. 자전거 그냥 올라 타서 mm-hmm. and ride and ride and ride. 영어에서 이렇게 똑같은 그 동사를 세 번, 네번 반복하는 경우가 종종 있어요. Yeah, so At our holiday Thanksgiving, we just ate and ate and ate. <웃음> 맞아요. 먹고 먹고 또 먹었다. Uh-huh. 그래서 많이 먹었다는 이야기고요. 끊임없이 먹었다는 이야기. 그리고 또그공 같은 거를 던졌을 때 mm-hmm. 아니면 야구 방망이로 빵 하고 쳤을 때 The ball is going, 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 going and gone. gone. 이제 사, 멀리, 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 멀리 가더니 uh-huh. 사라졌다. 시야에서 사라졌다라고 할 때도 uh-huh. going, going, going. 여기도 mm-hmm. ride, ride, ride. Mm-hmm. 그 휴, 휴가철, 휴일 명절 때 right? 이제 eight, we eight, eight and eight, eight and eight mm-hmm. 한 것도 똑같습니다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 계속해서 하는 거고요. 자전거를 타면서 이제 sort of not think about it. 지금 yeah. 이 행위에 대해서 생각하지 않게 되는 것이 very natural, 자연스러운 mm-hmm. 것 같습니다. I just do it naturally. naturally. 네. Yeah, and that is the definition of second nature and autopilot together. Yes. So let's see what he says in his final sentence. It is like being on autopilot, and I just enjoy it so much that it doesn't seem like that much work, even though I'm riding long distances. It is like being on idle, on autopilot, and I just enjoy it so much that it doesn't seem like that much work, even riding long distances. 이 문장 같은 경우에는 중간에 이제 그 리차드 씨가 굉장히 빨리 말해서 좀 애매한 부분이 하나 있었어요. Mm-hmm. 네, 잠시 후에 이야기하고요. It is like 뭐 어떤 거 같냐면 mm-hmm. being on autopilot 다시 한번 등장하고 있습니다. That's the key phrase of the day. Yes, autopilot. So it's great that he went over it again. Yeah, he's using it again. Mm-hmm. It is like being on autopilot. 어, 이거 혹시 이제 말하다 보면 being on 하고 헷갈릴 수가 있는데요. Mm-hmm. You're not on autopilot. Not on autopilot, but on, on. autopilot. 네, on이에요, on. Mm-hmm. Uh, being on autopilot. And I just enjoy it so much. 그게 이 과정이, 이 경험이 워낙 즐거워서 mm-hmm. So much that. Mm-hmm. 워낙 해서 이렇다. Mm-hmm. I enjoy 생활 영어 so much that I watch it every day. Mm-hmm. I enjoy reading so much that I can read all day. Mm-hmm. 그책 읽는 게 워낙 재밌어서 mm-hmm. 하루 종일도 책을 읽을 수 있다. Mm-hmm. 네. I like learning English so much that I don't mind buying books. Mm-hmm. 영어 배우는 게 너무 좋아서 책 사는 거 아깝지 않다. Yeah. 그렇게 이제 이야기할 수 있는 게 바로 so much 되시고요. Mm-hmm. 그 다음에도 재밌는 게 나와요. It doesn't seem like much, uh, that much work. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like that much work. When we say that, we mean it doesn't seem difficult or hard. Mm-hmm. I can just do it quite easily. 네, 
여기서 말하는 그 work는 일이 아니고 mm-hmm. 노력이에요. Yes. Effort. You don't need that much effort to go mm. 40 kilometers 네. because he enjoys it on autopilot. 그렇죠. 예를 들어 그 김밥 같은 거 만들 때 얼마나 그 손이 많이 가는지 아시잖아요. Right, 김밥 yeah. 만들 때 특히 김치 만들 때. 근데 그걸 처음 본 친구가 yeah. 이거 그냥 말아놓은 거 아니야 하면서 yeah. it doesn't, doesn't seem, seem like, like that much work. That much work. 그거 별로 오래 걸릴 것 같지 않은데라고 하면 you try it yourself. Yes, 한번 해봐. It definitely takes a lot 네. of work to make kimchi or kimbap. 맞아요. 그렇게 설명해 줄수 있을 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like that much work. Mm-hmm. 그거 그렇게 오래 걸릴 것 같진 않아. 그렇게 힘들 것 같지 않아. 라는 mm-hmm. 뜻이고요. 그 다음에 이제 발음상 even riding long distances 라고 mm-hmm. 할때 이제 멀리 가더라도 이게 이제 mm-hmm. even riding long distance 인지 even when I'm riding long, long distance 인지 좀 애매한 부분이 있었지만 의미는 똑같습니다. Yeah. So they mean the same thing even though we're not We didn't hear clearly exactly mm. what he, he said. He was speaking really fast. Yeah, he was really fast. It just shows maybe how excited he is about bike riding. Yes. Because he can speak so quickly about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of this clip. But of course, we're going to review one more time by taking a look at it. Let's watch. I like to ride my bike between 30 and 40 kilometers a day, about four to five times a week or as often as I can, mainly for physical fitness, but also because I love getting into the flow state. In fact, it feels like I'm riding on autopilot as I'm cruising on my bike because I've been doing it ever since I was a young boy and it's just second nature to me at this point. It's very natural to just get on my bike and ride and ride and ride and sort of not think about it. I just do it naturally. It is like being on autopilot and I just enjoy it so much that it doesn't seem like that much work even though I'm riding long distances. Why do you think?